Hello and welcome once again to this little town of Tulfors and Happy New Year for everyone watching this video if at least if you watch it when it's relatively new it's made on January 1st and uh, what I was supposed to show you here is uh, a lot of uh, submarines hanging around the shipwreck but of course, I, when I finally got the string I needed to hang up everything, I didn't have the tacks. So, it have to, you'll have to wait one more update, but next time, I really promise, I uh, have found out just how I like to hang everything. And it's gonna be uh, all small submarines, and also a few divers if I can hang them correctly, without it looking grotesque. And uh, we have the divers standing up here. There they are. Some of them will be in this little show of piece here. And some of them will also be under here, along with a single diver here. Because uh, there's treasure to be found here as well. But I thought I would not use um, mini submarines and things like that here. I would just use regular divers. Also, I have the divers in that boat there, and they might also happen to go under here, or maybe just getting ready to launch off their boat. There's not very much new, but uh, as you see, sorry about all the switching with the cam, but that's just how it's gotta be when you have a area that's not located just by each other, but on the, across the aisles. As you see, this area here is now cleaned up. Last time we had, an, I had a video update, this uh, area here was full of uh, built sets, but they are now moved into storage. So here we have the way it's probably going to be. Um, might change a little bit, move the fireboat a bit, something like that, I'll have to see what I'll end up with. Also, I might, I, I have one more rescue ship. Uh, I think it's, at least I think it's a rescue ship. Uh, might be a polar explorer, but I, I think it's just Coast Guard on the side, actually. So uh, I might do a little change. So both ships can be moored to the dock. Because, uh, let's face it, we are show-offs, we like to show off what we have. So I'll see what I can do with that. Uh, also, I have decided that when I race this town that I talked about uh, in several videos now Then uh, there's gonna be a mountainside right where we're looking now and uh, In that mountainside, I'm gonna have the Coast Guard headquarters And I'm also going to build a big helipad uh, a little bit on uh, That goes and stretches out with pillars out from the mountainside just have to figure out what I want to do for pillars because I want it to look solid but still kind of cool and that helipad is not going to be like this little thing we have here it's going to be big because I need to be able to land my big rescue helicopter the seeking helicopter that I call it might be a lynx but I think it looks might more like a seeking sort of like a bumblebee of helicopters and I would like that to be able to land to land, sorry, to, to, to land uh, on that helipad because it's, let's face it, you won't have room to land such a big helicopter anywhere else. Also, that means that that helicopter standing on the streets there can be able to land there if it needs. It's uh, in support of the diving operation, so it's going to hang from a string somewhere over here. But uh, that's also something I can do when I get my tax because as you see, Roof fair is uh, just plain uh, wood, so I can just stick the tags, tags up in the roof and hang things from that. And uh, I know how high I, this town here is going to be, because I have both the legs that's going to go on the middle platform behind there, and also the leg size is the same as the, on, on the airport. So I can measure if I can hang any helicopters or planes from the roof here, or if I need to hang them somewhere else. There's not a lot of new stuff in the town. There's a few things I would think I could show you. 
we have a new electrical car sort of looks like a tesla driven by a blonde girl who has her cell phone and uh, a dog i'm not sure if you can see the dog it will go further down yeah there you can see it it's a small brown chihuahua and uh, just go across here here we have another new vehicle it's actually from the same set as the electrical car, the Tesla. And I think this is kind of kind of cute camper vans with surfers. They're going to the beach, but there's a, quite a queue to get to the beach, so it takes a bit of time still. And uh, a lineup of fire trucks still here. <laughs> well, actually, I don't know exactly where to put them, but I'm figuring I might make a small platform or something that I can um, put them on. And here we have a small petrol station, a gas station you might call it. And uh, that's uh, actually the main build for the set with the camper van and the, elect and the electrical car. It's going to be placed probably around here in the outskirts of my industrial area when everything is uh, raised. So I get what I don't, so I get all the road plates and things like this out of the way. Well, I might still have some road plates, of course, because it might be nice to have a little road that goes to the industrial area where I can put trucks, because I got a lot of trucks and trailers, so they can carry goods to to the to the harbor. And uh, over here we have the little diner that I have uh, showed earlier. I think I talked about it a bit in the last video, at least. It's going to be down here in the harbor area as well because they're serving seafood and it's sort of a little shack. I like it actually, I like it a lot. And the uh, last thing that's new is this Bobby here. He didn't have a truncheon like the others, so he's per temporarily holding on to a submachine gun. But uh, my little town of Tulfors is not a violent city. There are criminals here, of course, but. Uh, there's not much gunplay going on in Tulfors, so uh, I'm figuring um, that they will. Sorry, I'm figuring that uh, there will not be the, the need to have those kind of weapons. Like we talked about before, new airplane uh, terminal on a 32 by 32 base with a small VIP entrance and some offices on top, and. Uh, if you've seen updates from me before, you'll see that something is missing here. And that's the catastrophically damaged sagging spaceport. It's going to come back in the same height as the airport. I'm just uh, going to extend the, the tracks over to the spaceport, probably. Because that would be, that would make sense, like uh, when, the, when the big... Uh, space shuttles take off and land that they use the, the runway for the airport because uh, you know the spaceport will never have uh, big runways they will have uh, more like ramps for uh, rockets taking off and things like that it's gonna come over here but it was uh, just in the way the way it was now with uh, the plate being bent and uh, everything just sagging so I just took it away to, to get a little bit more looks on the on the industrial area here and uh, I've been running the trains so I know they work the cargo red cargo train the diesel electric I like that it's probably my favorite locomotive because it reminds me a lot about a lot of the ones that uh, we used to run uh, a lot in uh, in Norway where I live and uh, we used to see a lot of them when I was uh, in the capital of Oslo, they were running with goods all across the rails there. But uh, now we rarely see them because they've been exchanged with things looking more like this one. And also I have the large train, the newest to the addition to this collection, but you've seen it before several times. It's been taking a little trip. It stopped so the police cars can go out, uh, in and out of the police station. Uh, as you see now, I have three cars in the back there with cows and farmers. 
And that's just because the ones that were standing on the side track, they needed, felt that they needed some air, so they got to take a little ride on the train. And, um, well, since we've been talking a little bit about the plans for the future, we might talk a little bit more about it. Uh, this area here, where is town now, when I race it, I'll uh, have a station under here. And I'll, I'm not quite sure how it will fit. So I have to do some trying and uh, trials and errors to, to try and get everything nice. But I would like to have some tracks so I can have both wagons and locomotives standing ready when they are not running around the tracks. So uh, I will have a continuous loop going from here over here. This is, will all be under the town. There will be a little bandit town probably somewhere right under here where we are now. I'm not sure. I'm just going to make sure it doesn't collide with the station because I like people to go to the station and have a good time. But the bandits need a place to be as well. There's a lot of bandits in, in Lego City. And um, it would be nice to have a place where I could keep those sets. Basically just that. But of course, you can also make a little town with it and see what I can come up with. Over here, there's going to be a, a mine. Don't mind the camera stand. It's uh, <laughs> it's just standing there. And the, the mine is going to be here. And then the industrial area on the gray parts here. And the harbor. Harbor is going to be made a little bit better than it is now. But there's not going to be many changes on the harbor. Because I don't have that much space to go on really. But I might... If 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 I get the, the space, I can move the harbor a little bit towards inside the gray. And then um, I get a little bit more place to have ships. Because I have a lot of, I think I have three or four hulls that I would like to build. It's of the same size as the green one there. That I would like to make into, um, into ships of different kinds and uh, I have some more ideas that I'm working on in Lego Digital Designer, LDD. So we'll see what I'll come up with. I love this little fishing boat there. It's really not a fishing boat now. It used to be a container ship, I think, but uh, to me, it's going to be more like a fishing boat. And I might even make uh, a fishing boat like they have in Deadliest Catch on uh, Discovery Channel with a hull like that. I've seen a few people do it before and I think it could be cool. Well, I think that was it from this update. So uh, wishing you a happy new year and uh, hope that you will keep on building with Lego. And um, you probably won't be able to leave comments on this video because I think um, YouTube, YouTube would turn it off from today since I had to mark my channel children friendly. But uh, please, uh, I will add the uh, Add some contact info for my blog and also for um, for my Instagram. I haven't posted any Lego pictures on Instagram yet, but I might do in the future. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do there. But there might come another Lego picture from time to time. So uh, have fun and I'll see you next time. Bye.